Hi. Where's your bathroom? Huh? Where's your bathroom? Where's my bag? Al Pacino plays a detective who falls for Ellen Barkin, playing a woman who may be a serial killer of men in Sea of Love. It's one of five new movies we'll be reviewing this week on Siskel and Ebert. I'm Gene Siskel of the Chicago Tribune. And I'm Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times. Our first movie is named Sea of Love, and it stars Al Pacino in his best role in quite some time as a cop assigned to a murder investigation. He discovers that the male victim of his investigation had answered an ad in a Lonely Hearts Club sex magazine, and then he meets another cop investigating another killing, and the two crimes seem to be related. I heard from one of you guys you caught a good one. Face down taxpayer, back of the head in his own bed. Me too, out on Yellowstone Boulevard. No Yeah, the bullet, we can't do nothing with. It got pancaked on a bed frame. We got a great bullet. We got cigarette butts with lipstick on Yeah? We didn't get any butts. Get any prints? Yeah, nothing showed up on a file. So... Let's compare them all. That's John Goodman, who plays Roseanne Barr's husband on television as the other cop. Together they get a bright idea. Why not run their own ad in the magazine, take out all the women who reply and see if their fingerprints match the killers. I mean, what's with the backup? What's with the wire? What is she going to do, confess? Shoot me? We're in a restaurant. You make me happy, okay? Now, who's writing the ad? Who's the poet? Ellen Barkin stars in the movie as a woman who answers Pacino's ad. On their first date, Something unexpected happens. He falls in love with her. I believe in animal attraction. I believe in love at first sight. I believe in this. And I don't feel it with you. Well, I'm hell on wheels once you get to know me, honey. It's nothing personal. Oh, come on. The mystery deepens. Evidence seems to point to Barkin as the killer. But Pacino wants to ignore the evidence and listen to his heart instead. <laughs> Like Jagged Edge and Fatal Attraction, this movie develops a lot of suspense out of the possibility that the hero has fallen in love with a killer, with a person who might wind up as his killer, and is totally vulnerable to the killer's secret instincts. The conclusion of The Sea of Love is not as clever as I would have liked. The solution to the mystery seems to appear from out of the woodwork, almost out of thin air, without playing fair with the audience in terms of the clues earlier in the film. But the movie itself is a chiller, a convincing mystery with good performances and convincing romantic chemistry between Pacino and Barkin. And Ellen Barkin, after this movie, and The Big Easy, I think, really emerges as a woman who has great passion on the screen. Well, you know, you said that, uh, that they fall in love, or we're talking about them falling in love yeah. and all that. Uh, what I like about the film is that they don't exactly fall in love in a conventional way. Mm -hmm. These are two street-savvy New York characters that they're playing, and they're very tentative. I mean, mm -hmm. it's t you know, he's a cop, and we buy him as a cop. And this is what's so great about Pacino. Finally, after yeah, such yeah. a long time, a decade of meaningless roles, he's got a good juicy one here, and he's mm -hmm. good at it. Mm -hmm. But I thought it was just really two strong adults locked in well, battle. You, you, Forget the you mystery. You put your finger on the best part of the movie, which is the relationship between those two people in all of its complexities and in all of its implications, including the, the problem that is raised by the thriller itself. Right. But... To say once again what disappointed me about the movie I know is that. at the ending you say, okay. oh, come on. All right, but a, wait, wait. In a way, they have to play fair. Okay. And although they technically pay, play fair, they really All right. but have you brought know the killer in. I'm from telling you, I, the tension level for me was not the, the... The mystery was there, of course, but the tension yeah. level was just to see two really strong adults go at it in a closed room, and what's going to happen? You, well, it's very I could explosive. ask you about your tension level, but I'm afraid I couldn't do it without giving away a, a secret about the movie, so right. I'll... It's a good picture. You know what I'm and thinking, though? No, I don't. I don't even want to know. 